Hey guys, it's Queen Yija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Ryan to episode 21 of Star Twinkle Pretty uh, Star Twinkle Pretty Here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 41 in three, two, one, go. so weird to know that we'll be <laughs> we're like not even we are so close to the end of the show and it just feels like just yesterday it was the beginning of the year we were starting this show I think no I didn't have my first show anymore I, I have my second this is still my second um, but a couple weeks later the end Joe copyright strikes came out and then I had to delete the copyright strikes and everything to get the channel back and then I had to continue and start all over and all over again. Yeah, it was the best thing ever. Mm, memories. Mm, here's the star drive. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I gotta get my hair done again this week, and that's gonna take hours just to get my hair done. It's just gonna be like, yeah, let's do one on a day where you're not busy. I'm busy every fucking day. Yeah, we'll be just waiting for the other three. If only you and me went to school. But no, that's okay. You can't do it anymore because we're almost done with this fucking series. You don't want to do it, don't you? I mean, she, this is the, I think this is the one thing that I've always said about Monica. She has already her future all set in store by her parents. But we're still, we're on episode 41, but for her arc, I, I don't know. Like, I really don't know how in the world her. Uh, her future is going to go.
So it's for the family, isn't it? Not just for yourself. See, I'm not saying that he doesn't really care or give a crap about Madoka and what she really thinks. He just wants what's best for her. But at the same time, it looks like the way Madoka is acting, she doesn't want to go to London. Mankind. You know you don't want to go. So just face up to your dad and just straight up tell him you don't want to go. Excuse me. <laughs> mm. Mm. Is it weird that I kind of want some donuts right now? Oh. Talk to Elena, please. Guys, talk to your friend or girlfriend, but talk to her. Yeah, but what do you want to do for yourself? You've let your father, you know, give, <laughs> make your way of your life for him, for, from himself, but you need to pay your life and how you want it to go. Yeah, I know. And now look at you two. Your friend. I don't think you could be like mom and dad from Kitty Kitty Pretty Girl and Mo, but you, you know, there are times where, yes, they do remind me of mom and dad, and they do miss mom and dad. I just need another season where we have the Yuri and just they get married. In my opinion, mom and dad got married at the end of that series. It just, you know, we didn't see it. It just it happened. See, and that's fine. Don't you hate when you eat or drink him? And then the bad guy shows up.
Honestly, I'm going to miss these girls a lot. Well, I will miss four of the girls. <laughs> One, I probably will not miss that much. I'll miss her, but not as much as a lot of people think I will. Because to me, four girls made this show, and one, in my opinion, didn't. But, you know, we'll talk about that in January. January 10th. Yeah, next year. I still can't believe it's only over there, like two of them who's gotten twinkle imaginations. It felt like to me, it felt like it was more, but like I don't know. They're just waiting for the right moments. Cause yeah, Elena didn't get hers. Elena should have got hers, but I feel like Madoka might be getting hers today. Maybe as a you know, a way of passion to finally, you know build her confidence up and go against her father? I really don't know. I'm scared to find out, but I'm excited though. Because Lala got hers last week, so it would make... I don't know, because see, to me, it feels like what they do is they get a girl to get one. Then we go on a break from a girl getting it. Then we go into the following week and somebody gets it. Then we go into another break. I don't know. But it, like, it would be interesting to have two girls get their trickle imagination back to back. Because we're only missing three. Because do we even count? He kind of forget what? Yeah, you kind of have to count. He kind of goes like, yeah, so that would be three. So there essentially only really needs to be two left, and that should be Elena and Madoka. I was with the oh shit damn. <laughs> yeah, there's no way I'll survive that. Mm hmm Okay, hold up. Can we just say that the this battle between these two is getting ridiculously dark and I kind of love it because think about this. Pretty Care has kind of gone on dark moments, but like between these two, especially with Monoka, and she's trying to convey her feelings to her father and the fact is that no matter what she does, she can't defeat this dude. He is like her father in a weird way. Mm -mm. Exactly like your father.
excuse me. Yes, you can. Of course, her girlfriend will come to always save her. Stay there, you're fine. Now, if that's not Twinkle Imagination, I want to know what is. Now, it should just be Elena. That's it. Oh my god! Why did I just get like a whole bunch of shows? But Sunny jumps on a manga face and this! Oh my god! Oh, honey! And people say Madoka is the least favorite of the group. Oh my god. Like, what are y'all talking about? Excuse me, I'm about to burp. Excuse me. Because I've seen so many freaking people say, Oh, hey! Monica's one-sided. Like, I don't really like her. How can you not like her? She's amazing! Oh my god! Honestly, that might stop him. No, of course not. I mean, maybe the bracelet. Yeah, yeah, the bracelet. But the, yeah, oh my God. Because we're not close to the last few episodes, cliche. So, yeah, you can call it a win, but he's not dead. Now go home and tell your dad how you feel.
study. What you doing, silly Billy? But I want to be with my friends. Get in something? No, that's just your hair and your skin. <laughs> in a way. But it, it's sometimes you've looked your daughter in a certain way too much. It's her choice. That too. But she needs to grow on her own and do her own thing and choose her own life. Ah. I didn't really like looking at her feet. Oh, she looks so pretty. Oh, my God. Jesus. But, I'm, um, you know, as someone who is not the one who has a foot fetish, she really doesn't like looking at that. That's a little too much. You're on my ears, so watch out, babe. Okay. I do like the fact that they use the one, um, except for a man, one, um, uh, I can never say it right. I'm not even going to say it. Mankind quote. That quote. It's a really good quote for like literally anyone to use. But it, it's almost like in a way, yeah, that first step is hard. And like there's going to be other trials that are going to be hard for you. But if you just stay true to yourself, there's nothing that you can't do. But always saying like having people to be with you and to guide you to the right ways. There's no right or wrong way. There are wrong and bad decisions. But there are going to be challenges for it, Madoka, and whatever she wants to do next. But at least she'll have her friends, and she'll be near her friends. She won't be on her on her own and stuff. And that's what I really love about this series. There really almost any anime that I've seen where it is a whole bunch of cute girls doing cute things in general, and then eventually they kind of have to go their separate ways. But even though they're all going their separate ways. They're still going to be together. And even though in a couple of weeks, not even a couple of weeks, in a couple of months, we're not going to see these girls together anymore. And we're going to see them as older characters. It's, it's going to be, you know, a little weird. It's going to be really sad. Okay, I I think I know what they're gonna do with her, and because in a way she kind of it kind of gave an answer of like from this episode of what they're gonna do. Elena doesn't know what she wants to do, um, for her future. We know that yeah, of course her and Madoka they're gonna go to the same high school. I'm assuming since now Madoka is officially staying in there. I'm gonna say somewhere in Japan because you know. Sometimes the Pretty Cure shows don't really have the... I think they had a name in their town, but I just don't remember it because they said it, like... Excuse me. So long ago that you think I'm going to remember that? No. 50 out of 50, I do. Um, but I think Elena is going to be the character who is, like... I don't know what I want to do. She might be stuck for, like, maybe 15... 12... Maybe, like... Well, overall in the episode, but I think... It, because it's going to focus more on her... And this is probably when she's going to get officially her twinkle imagination. Um, I would say maybe like five to ten minutes of her is going to be her seriously having like a conversation with Madoka. Because essentially they're better when those two talk. Because they are the oldest of the group. Essentially, I mean, also really Uni and Lala is so, you know, Hikari was like the youngest, but... Um, Elena and uh, Madoka, they act like the mom and dad of this group. And so they always have, like, to me, besides Uni, usually when they do talk to Uni, 
those who have the most interesting conversations and the most interesting um, relationship. They are the ones who, you know, kind of in a, in a real way, like complete the group, make each other be uh, like, oh my God, they're like the glue or the peanut butter that holds everyone together, like the peanut butter to my jelly and, and ish like that. But I mean, with them, I felt like, you know, since Elena was down, I mean, Elena, Monica was down in this episode and Elena came to her for this one. Elena's going to come down and be, you know, very unsure of what she wants to do for the rest of her life. Even though it's just like with Madoka, her path in a way has already been set. I'm assuming that she's still going to want to sell flowers for the rest of her life in the flower shop with her family. Or she might venture out on her own and have her own flower shop with whoever her husband or whoever she's going to marry in the future. Whether she wants to be independent and do that is by yourself because you know, hey, I love independence. You can go ahead and do it on yourself. Be a bad bitch. I ain't got nothing wrong with that. You do what you want to do. Or you decide to do it as a business with whoever you want to be with. Man, woman, whoever. And you do it together. It's just, I, I don't know. Because we've all been like that. We've all, like, whether after high school, after college, or whatever, we've all kind of had that moment of, we don't know what to do for the rest of our lives. And then sometimes we have, like, I'm going to go a little, little religion on you. Like, God or whatever you support gives you a sign and then you just follow that and then you immediately know like what you want to do for the rest of your life and some people do immediately get it and some people it could be like years you can have a like a job and still do your dreams and wanting to go to school and better educating yourself and trying to say like hey i want to do this i want to better myself and have a better life for me and then my future family. So, I mean, I think that's really, truly what's going to happen in this next episode. I may be wrong and I may be right, but we ain't going to really know until um, next Monday for myself. But this episode really was really good for Madoka because the last good Madoka episode was when she was doing her archery tournament. That was a really good episode and I really enjoyed those a lot. And it, it's just like, it's getting more like, sad because we're very very close to the end of this show and it's like I really don't want this one to get uh, to end I mean like let, let's go back to Hugato and my feelings on that show and how I did enjoy it but only for certain characters and it's like that for this show like I still enjoy it but I only enjoy it for certain characters and the arcs that they bring for them and how toy animation proves like shows that these characters are the best girls and that they need the individual time that they need and while kind of a little bit sometimes one out of the four gets a little bit more than the other four but I mean essentially the first half of the show she did now not so much and I'm glad that they're doing that because um they need to kind of tone her down and because of the fact is she's going to get the most screen time towards the last few episodes of this series so probably like 45 to I think there's 49 episodes for this show. I'm not 100% sure, so yeah. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction. <laughs> reaction to reenter episode 41 of Star Trek are pretty here. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Monday for episode 42. Bye, guys.